This is a summary of a project where simulation was used to reduce the uncertainty of a major investment. A frozen food manufacturer wants to improve the productivity at one of its facilities, which produces 20 different products in different packaging formats for a total of 200 SKUs. These products are made, bagged and boxed on 11 processing lines, each ending with a manual palletizing station. In some configurations, products are not boxed on the processing lines, but left in bags in order to be later mixed and boxed as combo packs at another production station. This is scenario 2 in this video. The company is planning to invest millions of dollars in an extensive conveyor system to carry the cases of products from each of the processing lines to a central robotized palletizing area. When required, the system will also be able to bring bags of products from processing lines to the combo pack station. They have a proposal from the equipment supplier, but they want to validate if the proposed design will satisfy the capacity requirements in terms of cases per hour, and if not, what needs to be changed. The simulation shows that their proposed conveyor system satisfies the peak demand, but it also produces a few surprise results. First, for combo packs, synchronization of the lines was not an issue before because bags of products were produced in batches and immediately stored in the freezer. Now, to produce combo packs, feeding lines must synchronize their startups and their speeds to supply the combo pack station without letting food spoil on conveyors. Second, even though the palletizing area was not fully simulated in detail as part of this project, The model shows us that the robots will be the bottleneck of the new system and could cause major issues as they'll need to operate at more than 80% of their maximum cycle time during peak demand. As you can see, the cost of this simulation study is a small price to pay to reduce the uncertainty involved in such an important investment. Thank you.